Hello students, our subject is Theory of Computation that is TOC. Okay, so in this video I am going to explain you about the introduction to automata theory and its significance. Okay, so what is our subject name? Theory of Computation. So what is Theory of Computation? So Theory of Computation means it is related to some computation. Okay, so what do you mean by computation? So computation means any task that can be performed by a computer or a calculator. Okay, so any task that can be performed by a computer or calculator is known as computation. Okay, so we need to design a machine and what are the capabilities of this particular machine and what problems it can solve and what are the limitations of this particular machine. So these all things we need to consider. Okay, so before going to study this particular subject, you need to know some basic concepts. That is what is a symbol. So a symbol is a basic building block. That is any letter, okay, any letter, any digit or anything, even a picture can also be considered as a symbol. Okay, so symbol is a basic building block. That means any letter, any number or even a picture can be considered as a symbol. Anything can be considered as a symbol. Okay, next is what is an alphabet? Okay, so alphabet means finite set of symbols. Finite set of symbol is known as an alphabet. So, finite set of symbol is known as an alphabet. For example, we are represented by using sigma, sigma equal to 0, 1. Okay, if we are taking the numbers, we are taking the finite set of symbols, that is 0 and 1, so we can consider it as alphabet. This set 0, 1 is considered as an alphabet or a, comma b. This is also a alphabet. Okay, so group of symbols, finite set of symbols known as alphabet. Then what is a string? So, string is a collection of symbols in an alphabet. Okay, so a collection of symbols in an alphabet is known as a string. For example, suppose I am taking this particular alphabet, then by using A and B, we can generate different symbols, different strings. Okay, A, 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 B, B, A, B, B, A, 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 etc. Okay, so collection of symbols in an alphabet is known as a string. Then what is a language? Language means group of strings. Okay, so group of string is known as A, 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 B, etc. This is a language. Okay, and languages are of two types. One is finite language, another is infinite language. So what do you mean by finite language and what do you mean by infinite language? So finite language means it consists of finite number of strings. Okay, suppose we are considering a language L1 which is equal to set of all strings of length to 2 where the alphabet equal to 0, 1. By using the symbol 0 and 1, we are going to generate set of all possible strings of length to 2. Okay, that means by using 0 and 1, we are going to generate strings of length exactly 2. Okay, so how we can write the language? Suppose I am writing the language L1 which is equal to, you can write any name L or L1, here I just mentioned L1, you can write L, okay. So by using 0 and 1, I can generate strings of length 2, so 0, 0, length is 2, 1, 2, okay, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, okay. Can you generate any other string by using 0 and 1 having length 2? No, okay. So by using 0 and 1, you can generate all strings of length 2 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, okay. So this is finite, it is not going to infinity, okay. So such languages are finite languages, okay. Then what is an infinite language? So for an infinite language, I am just defining the language L2 equal to set of all strings starting with 0. So how we can write the language L2 equal to starting with 0 means a single 0 will come, then 0, 0, it is also starting with 0, triple 0, it is also starting with 0 and so on, then 0, 1 starting with 0. 0, 1, 1 starting with 0, 0, 0, 1 starting with 0 and so on. So this is going to infinity. Okay. So such languages are known as infinite language. Okay. So the languages are two types. One is finite language. Second is infinite language. Finite language means it consists of finite number of strings. A language consists of finite number of strings. It will not go to infinity. For example, set of all strings of length 2, if we are generating strings by using the symbol 0 and 1, we can generate only 4 possible strings. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, it consists of only finite number of strings. So, such languages are finite languages. 
when we are taking this example that is we are going to generate a language generate a set of strings starting with zero so by starting with zero we can generate any number of strings okay so this will go to infinity okay so such languages are known as infinite languages so this is a basic things that you need to first know when you are going for studying theory of computation okay so theory of computation means we are going to study some particular kind of computation so what is computation means any task that can be performed by a computer or calculator okay so we are going to design a machine and we are finding what are the capabilities of this particular machine what problems it can solve and what are the limitations of this particular machine okay so there are three some key concept that you need to know before studying before starting this particular subject okay so what is a symbol what is an alphabet what is a string what is a language these things you should know okay so what is a symbol symbol means basic building block that means any letter any digit any picture anything can be considered as a symbol okay alphabet means finite set of symbols okay finite set of symbols are known as alphabet so we can represent like this 0 1 set to a b okay and what is a string 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 means collection of symbols okay that is group of symbols in an alphabet okay that's the string so by using this particular alphabet we can generate different strings okay then what is a language so language means collection of strings group of string is known as language so a language may be finite language or infinite language what is a finite language finite language means it consists of strings that are finite it will not go to infinity finite number of strings it should have okay infinite means infinite number of strings okay so by using this example you can mention which is finite language which is infinite language okay so in the next video i will explain you what is finite automata